The Wrights Band has a strong, long-lasting tradition at F.J. Wrights High School. Throughout the 1980s and 90s, the mighty Marching Panthers had advanced almost every year to state finals. However, with the turn of the century came a turn for the band. The band struggled to advance to state finals as it had done so in the past. New directors, staff members, and students passed through the halls of Wrights and the practice lot on Barker Avenue striving towards a single goal, one that centered around reaching state finals again. The 2015 season was a special year for the band. A new teacher from the Indianapolis area, Mr. Jonathan Miller, had taken the job of band director. The band's relatively large size in combination with their unique show, Red Tango, helped to make the 2015 season so successful. Our hope was to kind of create that scene that you see in movies where it's, you know there's little bistro tables and people are kind of sitting around and then you know there's an accordion player or a violinist or you know just some, somebody that starts playing tango music and then somebody sees somebody across the way and they want they want to dance together um, and that was you know that was part of the challenge was that you know getting freshmen and sophomore and high school kids like understand what a tango feels like and and, and what that passion means. Um, using the violins was really interesting and unique and you know a lot of people have used violins in marching band shows and never come become satisfied with it um, but I think it was kind of necessary in that show in particular to just to set the tone of what tango feels like. Um, so it went through some moments the first mo movement was that aspect of drawing each other together and then as the show developed we felt that the feeling of the dance and then we had this really drawn out ballad and the importance of a rose came into play and we felt there you know there was a guard member that was picked up and spun around and the big hit in the ballad and then it, there was the intensity in Libertango where it's really fast paced and everybody's moving each other back and forth and there's whips and turns and kicks and like there was that ferocity and we talked a lot about the characterization about what it would be like to see somebody across the room and know in that moment that you had to dance with them to have that dance to have the intense emotion and then to have that just fierce presence that you have to have in Argentinian tango. An often overlooked aspect of marching band is the choreography detail. Throughout the 2015 show, numerous wind players would abandon their marching to dance with guard members. In combination with the choreography, the musical selection was incredible, with musical repertoire featuring widely acclaimed selections such as Por Una Cabeza, Vuelvo al Sur, Stella Maris, and Libertango. The show had a unique Argentinian twist that amazed fans and judges alike. It was a really rewarding feeling after we put all the hours of work in at Barker and all the hours of work in putting the show together and rehearsing it over and over again. It was just a really, um, it was a really nice feeling to be able to see that that all paid off. When any marching band makes state for the first time, it's an overwhelming experience for the students because even if they've been in the venue before, and Lucas Oil Arena is a pretty impressive venue, being, on, being in the stadium and being on the floor of the stadium is completely different. And of course, nobody that's not been part of a performing group has ever been down in the bowels of the stadium and through the hallways and everything. And then when you come into the entranceway and all of a sudden there's this huge you know, void in front of you with tens of thousands of people, it can be overwhelming. Many of the members of the 2015 Wrights Band 
say that they don't remember much of the state performance while they were in the moment. They put everything into those few minutes of tango at Lucas Oil. Nothing was held back, and the Marching Panthers placed seventh in their class. You know, you don't even, you don't remember. It all, it all just goes, it, you're taking it in so quickly, and uh, you're so focused on your performance that you get out there, you do, you do as best as you can, and then you're off the field and it's like nothing happened. We'd finally crossed over that threshold and we made it to state, which was the beginning of what we hope is gonna be many more times of making it to state.